This week I'm working on a plain Jane dresser and nightstand. The veneer is damaged in several places with scratches and gouges throughout, but the main problem with this plain Jane bedroom set is that it's just boring and dull. You'll see how I completely restyled this set to make her sparkle and shine. You won't believe your eyes. <laughs> The first step was to clean the entire dresser and nightstand with a degreaser to remove any dirt or remaining wax or polish applied by the previous owner. The silicone in these products can keep the paint from adhering to the surface. I then rinsed it well with plain water. I used an orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper to smooth out any scratches and gouges. You can use just a regular sheet of sandpaper, put it on a block or just fold it in quarters and hand sand it as well. I just have an orbital sander and it's a lot easier and a lot faster to use that. I frequently ran my hand over the surface as I sanded to determine if the area was smooth. I used a damp cloth to remove all the sawdust. Even after sanding, I found that there were some deep gouges and scratches that remained on the top of the dresser. So I used wood filler to fill in those areas. Some of the edges of the dresser were so worn that I had to use wood filler to rebuild the edges of the dresser in those areas. When the wood filler was completely dry, I sanded with 220 grit sandpaper just by hand until the dresser top was completely smooth. Preparation for priming, once again I used a damp cloth to remove all the sawdust. I used a water-based primer because there are less VOCs and cleanup is a breeze. I applied the primer to three drawers when to my horror I saw the dreaded bleed through. Bleed through is when stains and tannins from the wood bleeds through to the surface of paint or primer. The intent of primer is to prevent bleed through. Well. I had no choice but to get out the smelly oil-based primer and put on a respirator and apply oil-based primer to the entire dresser, all drawers, and the nightstand. I used a one quarter inch nap roller to apply the primer so it went on pretty quickly. To properly prime a dresser, you should completely cover it with the primer so no wood shows through, as you can see in this video. When the primer was dry, I used 400 grit sandpaper to lightly sand all surfaces to remove any dust nubs that landed on the primer as it was drying. This doesn't take long, but it sure makes a difference in ensuring a smooth final finish. Immediately before painting, use a dust-free cloth that's been misted with water or a tack cloth to remove the primer dust from the surface. I used a synthetic bristle brush to apply Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color white linen. As I painted it on, I like to mist water on the surface so the brush glides smoothly. If the brush starts to drag a little, I mist more water. This technique helps to reduce brush marks in the final finish. I saw a modern looking dresser on the Neiman Marcus website by Miranda Kerr that had the same shape and style as this dresser, so I thought I would duplicate it. That dresser had some kind of textured glaze on the drawer fronts, but I was unsure how they were able to achieve that look. The color is described as soft gold, even though it looks gray in some of these photos. I decided to test several different textures and different types of glazes to see if I could duplicate the look. So I went to the local big box store in the cleaning aisle to find different textured brushes. I really had no idea which would work, so I got a nice variety. Who knew you could use a whisk broom to refinish furniture? I tested five different textures, including steel wool, three brushes, and an old t-shirt. I then mixed up three different types of glaze. I mixed them all with black chalk paint so I could clearly see the texture. The first glaze I tested was a water-based glaze where I basically watered down black chalk paint to make a wash. The problem I had with this one is the fact that it dried so fast I barely had time to run the brush or other texture over the surface, so that was a total fail. Next I mixed up about one teaspoon of black chalk paint into one quarter cup of water-based polyurethane and applied it with a brush. I then ran the three different brushes, a rag, and a steel wool over the surface. Once again, the glaze dried too quickly. You need a wet edge when you apply a texture so the edges blend seamlessly together. 
Since it dried so fast, it was not acceptable to use this glaze for this project. Finally, I used the Valspar glaze and I mixed about one teaspoon of chalk paint into one quarter cup of glaze. This glaze worked perfectly. I had enough open time to allow me to run the brush or other texture over the surface repeatedly until I got the texture I wanted. It was apparent by the light color though that I didn't add enough chalk paint. Since I found the glaze that matched the Miranda Kerr dresser, the only thing left was to look at my test board and choose the texture. I liked the one on the far right, the gong brush. The chalk paint must be cured before you apply the glaze or painter's tape. If the chalk paint isn't cured and you put glaze on it, the water in the glaze will reactivate the chalk paint and you'll end up with a muddy mess of glaze and paint on the surface. Therefore, you should always allow a minimum of one day for the chalk paint to cure, but preferably three days. I used bare chalk paint in the color Open Canyon. I added about two tablespoons of the chalk paint to one cup of the Valspar glaze and stirred it well. The edges of the drawers were taped with blue painter's tape to ensure a clean edge. I then brushed on the glaze using a chip brush and then used the gong brush in a sweeping motion to apply the texture while the glaze was still wet. I apparently applied too much glaze because it was splattered all over as I swept the brush across the top. I waited overnight for the glaze to dry and then used a car washing sponge to apply three coats of water-based polyurethane on the top and sides of each drawer to provide a durable, long-lasting finish. Three to four coats of the same polyurethane was also applied to the dresser and the nightstand. I would be very grateful if you found this video informative and maybe a little inspiring that you give it a thumbs up. After all, thumbs up are free. That tells YouTube that this video has value and it will help to ensure that others see it too. I would also be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel to show your support and to be notified anytime I post a new video. I have many other informative videos on my channel that show you not only the basics of refinishing furniture, but also product reviews and innovative ways that I restyle and restore furniture. The finishing touch for this freshly styled dresser was to add the Lucite drawer poles. I love these poles. They look like jewelry. Once they were applied, this makeover was finished, and I am so glad to remind you of where we started and reveal the new dresser. What do you think? Does it look like the $2,500 Miranda Kerr? I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry instead If you found this video informative, I have two more videos you might enjoy on your right. In addition, if you become a subscriber and click the notification bell, you'll be the first one notified when I post my weekly videos. Thanks for watching. Was it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do?